Good morning. We've another story from the book of Acts. Saul had permission from the high priest to go to Damascus to hunt down the followers of Jesus. Saul believed Jesus was wrong and his followers were dangerous. He wanted to bring them back to Jerusalem to be punished. So Saul and his traveling companions left for Damascus on horseback. And when they were almost to the city, a great light came down over Saul and he fell from his horse. And from that light came a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why do you treat me so badly? And Saul said, Who are you? The voice said, I'm Jesus. Whenever you treat one of my followers badly, you treat me badly too. Now get up and go into Damascus, and you'll learn what to do there. Well, now his traveling companions had seen that great light, but they had not heard the voice, and they were terrified. They got down from their horses to help Saul get up, and now he was blind. So they took him by the hand and led him into Damascus and found a room for him, and then they left. In Damascus was a faithful follower of Jesus named Ananias, and Ananias had a dream, and in that dream Jesus said to him, Ananias, go to Straight Street and ask for a man named Saul, who is from Tarsus. He is waiting for you to walk through his door to heal him. Oh my Jesus, said Ananias, I have heard of this Saul of Tarsus. He is a terrible man. He wants to take us all back to be punished. Go to him, said Jesus. I have chosen him to tell my story to many people. So Ananias went off to Straight Street and he asked for Saul and found Saul of Tarsus in this room where he had been for three days with no food and no water, and he was blind. The first thing Ananias did was go over to Saul and put his hands on Saul's eyes. And when he took his hands away, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. Then Ananias baptized Saul and gave him food to eat. But when Ananias went back to the followers of Jesus and said, I want to bring Saul of Tarsus to meet you, they said, oh no, we know about him. We want nothing to do with him. But Ananias told them about the dream and what had happened, and they finally said, okay. And when Saul came, they realized he was a changed man. And before long, Saul was preaching in all the synagogues in Damascus, telling them about Jesus, God's son. Now, the Jewish leaders began to get wind of this, and they were not happy about what was going on, so they plotted to kill Saul. But Saul heard about this plot, and the plot was to put someone at every gate in the city wall. So Saul could not leave without being seen and attacked. But the followers of Jesus had a better idea. They put Saul in a big basket. And one night when it was very dark, they let Saul down through an opening in the city wall, down to the ground, and Paul could escape and go to Jerusalem. So he did, and when he got there, he went immediately to the followers of Jesus. And they said, no, no, we want nothing to do with you. We know what you have, who you are. But Barnabas, who had been in Damascus, was with Saul, and he told the story of Saul meeting Jesus on the road in the great light. He told about Saul preaching in the synagogues in Damascus. And the followers in Jerusalem accepted Saul too. And Saul began teaching in synagogues all over, telling them about Jesus, the Son of God. Now the prayer today is actually a blessing that comes from one of the letters that Saul, who later was known as Paul, wrote. You might say it to someone with you or just to yourself. You can repeat it after me. May the Lord of peace give you peace to always 
in every way. Amen. There's a new feature with the stories this summer. If you will click on the link under the video, you will find two questions that you and your family can use to talk about this story. I hope you'll give it a try. God be with you.